Hey everyone, thank you for watching today's video. I am so excited to do. It is going to be my Sephora haul for the holiday savings event that is going on now. So I'm gonna be showing you everything that I picked up from the sale. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, before I jump into the products that I got, let me do my outfit of the day. So today we just have on some distressed jeans. These are from Laura's Boutique. And then this top here, which I believe is also from Laura's Boutique, just a black uh, kind of crop top here. I've had this for years and I have it in several different colors. So that is what I'm wearing today. I will link all of my makeup down below. I haven't done my hair, blow dried it, and that's about as far as we got. So we're not making judgments on the hair. Okay, so I'm really excited to show you what I got from the sale, got some new items, got some repurchases, and I do have my recommendations video up if you're still interested in what I would recommend. I did also do my wish list video, so you can compare what I got from my wish list to what I actually purchased. Uh, I am a Rouge member, so I did get the 20% off. I can list out the dates in my description box like I've been doing for these videos. If you haven't seen my wish list video, I'd highly recommend that you check that out because there is a giveaway in that video, and it's a pretty fun one, so don't miss that giveaway. And I think that's everything that I have to say besides the fact that I learned today that I can do same day delivery with Sephora and it cost me $6.95. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing that I discovered. You know, I'm coming from small town Iowa where that wasn't a thing. That, 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 that wasn't a thing. I had to drive an hour and a half to the closest Sephora. Delivery would take at least a week. Here in Vegas, I can do same day delivery. I had some appointments this afternoon and when I came home, this cute little bag with all my products inside was sitting on my doorstep and I was like, thank you. So I'm pretty pumped about this, but let me show you everything that I got. All right, so first of all, one of the big products that I wanted to grab was from Natasha Denona. This is the Glam Face Palette. So this is uh, for eyes and cheeks. So this run was $59. And inside, I there is two different versions of it. I ended up getting the light. There's a light and a dark. So you have a blush, the highlighter, and then the uh, eyeshadows here. I'm gonna insert swatches because I am gonna take photos of this, so I wanna photograph it before I take swatches, but um, I'm just trying to get this haul video filmed as quickly as I can. So I'll insert some of these swatches here, but I am really, really excited to try this out. Um, this was the main reason why I actually did same day delivery because I was thinking about doing a video on this palette. If you would want to see that, let me know if you'd want like a video just about this palette, swatches, maybe some comparisons, obviously a look with it, trying everything on. And I did ask on my community tab, would you want to see the haul video first, this first impression video first, or do you not even want a video dedicated to this? I could maybe just put it in a trying new makeup. And the haul video won out. The last time I checked, it was 59% uh, um, for doing the haul video first with the um, this dedicated video right after it. So that's why I'm doing the haul. But I'll keep checking that and checking the comments. And if people are saying that you do want to see a video fully on the palette, that will be my next video that goes live. Because I'm super excited to try this out. Like I said, I'm just going to photograph it. But um, I will insert some of these swatches here. So we have the blush, the highlight, the face, or the eye shades, I'm sorry. And I, I mean, these tones, I'm just, yeah, I'm all about this. I'm so excited. Uh, I actually really didn't even get to talk about this in a Will I Buy It video because we'd only seen like two very like sneak peeked photos when I first filmed my Will I Buy It video. So I'm going to include it in next week's, but spoiler alert, I, uh, I bought it. So I'm really excited about that. And let's see, what else did I get? So I did do a few repurchases. Uh, I actually got two of the Rare Beauty mascaras, the Perfect Stroke mascaras. These retail for $20. I picked up two because it's my favorite mascara and I know that I'm going to go through it. I have it on my eyes today, but my one is pretty much gone. Uh, I received it in PR, but I will continue to buy this mascara. I've raved about it, put it in my recommendations video. So love this, I decided to get two of them since I have the 20% discount. I did also try to buy the Lawless Beauty mascara, but it, 
I don't, was it out of stock or it just wasn't available for same day delivery and it also wasn't available for pickup so it might have just been out of stock completely so I wasn't able to get the lawless one but I really wanted to get the rare one and so that's why I put two in my cart oh from Huda Beauty I actually did I get something different hold on let me look at my receipt okay from Huda Beauty I went to get the silk balm but I must have clicked the wrong one this is the silk balm and rose quartz I feel like this is different than the first one that I purchased and I also did purchase the second silk balm so I don't know if you can see with my light because it's kind of darker now but the packaging is different on these so I'm like wait what did I order um okay so this is definitely different okay that's okay everything's fine I still have my 20% discount honestly as I see more recommendations video more haul videos I might keep buying more stuff. You might see another haul for me. I just did a Sephora haul last week. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm not panicking. My accountant might be panicking. I'm not panicking. So this is the new balm from the new Rose Quartz collection, which actually I talked about this in last week's Willow Bite video, and I said out of anything, I might pick up the lip balm. So I'm not mad. I'm going to use them both. And like I said, I got this other balm. So this is the Silk Balm and Rose Quartz. So this is $21. So this is an illuminating lip balm. So it does have some shimmer to it. Okay, so this one is quite a bit pinker than the other balm, and it has that shimmer to it, but I'll probably like it. I mean, I'll try it out. I do follow up with all my reviews, um, all my hauls with reviews. I'll, I'll give it a shot. I do like the formula, though. I like it a lot, so that's why I was obviously repurchasing another one. So... We'll give it a try. We'll give it a try. And then, like I said, I did get the honey one, the Silk Balm in Honey Kiss. So this was a newer shade that came out after the original silk balm and i was like you know what i like it so much i'm just i'm gonna go ahead and do this one too so this one looked to be like maybe a little bit more golden but if you can see it's a little bit more on that like yellow golden side so that's the honey lip balm i'm excited I'm excited. new lip glosses I, I i enjoy lip glosses i wear them a lot so these are two from huda beauty that i picked up to keep it rolling another repurchase i got the biosans squalene and zinc a sheer mineral sunscreen uh so this is one that i i mean it's the sunscreen that i wore today i wear spf every single day so i figured why not just get why not just get another one since i had the discount since i've repurchased this many times so figured might as well just throw it into my cart um some more repurchases can you see that can 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 we see it the dior backstage face and body powder no powder <laughs> my favorite powder i talked about this one so much but i actually did something a little bit different so i got my regular shade which is 3n so 3n is the first shade that i purchased and i really enjoyed it because i mean you've heard me talk about this powder so much um what does this one retail for 40 dollars, i believe uh, it's just it's so smoothing it's so blurring it sets the foundation perfectly it sets cream products perfectly like it's just it's my favorite powder true in my this this is my fourth one that I've purchased. I've gone through two, have a third one that I just hauled in my last Sephora haul. But again, like I said in my recommendations video and my wish list video, I was like, I am going to repurchase this. You know, it's a $40 powder. I wear it every single day. I pretty much wear makeup every single day. So I'm always wearing this powder. So I'm going through them like crazy. Like I might as well get it at 20% off. So I got the 3N, but I had also been chatting for a while about potentially getting a lighter shade also for my under eyes or you know as we get into fall weather even here in vegas you know it's getting a little bit chillier i'm not at the pool every single day or outside as much with the sun beating on me so i am losing a bit of my tan so sometimes when i've been doing my 3n all over my face i'm like ooh, it's you know it's getting a little bit too dark for me so i also picked up the shade 2n because i figured i could either use it on my under eyes or on my skin so i'm excited to try this one out and see what I think of 2N. So yeah, I don't know if you can see that very well. I mean, it's it's a, it's a setting powder. That's gonna be a pretty light swatch, but I feel like this might match my skin tone a little bit better. I can always keep 3N for when I'm self tanning or anything like that. Or again, I could use this for the under eyes, but I decided, cause I was gonna get two of the powders and then I thought, you know, technically I still did get two, but I was like, this is maybe a good time to try a different shade, not paying full price for it, and we'll see how it works out. So I got 3N and 2N of that. And then this was just cute. This was just cute. This is from Beauty Blender. <laughs> this was like their, what was it called? Their Loaded Sunday. 
Okay, I just, I don't, it's like, I'm sorry. I just, I thought it was cute. Where's my receipt? So this was $49. So inside you get three different sponges and then you also have a cleaner. And then there is a silicone mat down here too. I think to like clean it on, maybe something like that. But you know, three new sponges. I love sponges. I go through sponges. Love having another cleaner around. It has to do with ice cream. I was weak. It was an, I mean, I had it on my, my loves list, but I was like, no, I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. And then at last minute I threw it in my cart and I was like, Meh. that happened. Uh, all right. So I saw this in like everybody's recommendations video that I watched. So I finally just threw it in. I've been interested in trying new concealers. I did try to purchase the Armani power fabric, but my shade sold out right as I was like, I hit checkout and it was like one of your items went out of stock. And I was like, if it's the Natasha Denona palette, I'm going to freak out. <laughs> like I was going to be so mad if that one went out of stock, but it was the Armani concealer. So then, um, I really didn't feel bad about purchasing the Kosas, even though in my last haul I purchased the Anastasia. It's fine. I, obviously, I like reviewing makeup, so it's all good. But this is from Kosas. This is their Revealer Super Creamy and Brightening Concealer. So I ended up with the shade 3... Wait, is that right? 3.2? Hold on, let me open it. So yeah, I guess the shade is 3.2 is the one that I got. So I saw quite a few people saying that shade matching was pretty difficult in this one, but um like it pulls a little bit more yellow but i think we might be okay so i heard i've heard some you know really positive things on this concealer so i decided to give it a try i did purchase the kosas their setting powder in my last haul it was actually a bonus offer so i got a little mini of it but i have been enjoying that so i thought you know it'd be good to pair with the concealer also so decided to throw that one in my cart especially since the armani was out of stock you know hopefully i'll just keep watching if it comes back in stock i'll probably just grab it um because i really did want that one and then from Tatcha, I mentioned a lot of different holiday sets in my wishlist video from Tatcha. I think I had like four or five on there. I didn't feel like my perfect set was on there, but I thought that this one would be close enough. So this is, uh, this was $25. It's a $33 value. It's the Dewy Cleanse and Hydrate. So inside we have the Rice Wash and then also the Dewy Skin Cream. So the Rice Wash I really do like, and I have the Deep Cleanse in my shower right now, but I was thinking of popping in the Rice Wash in my shower. And then the Dewy Skin Cream, I do really like that. I, I used to be more oily. I'm a little bit more combo right now, but I definitely do have some dry skin going on. So I thought that this would be a good set to pick up and I could use the moisturizer, especially when I'm feeling like I have a lot of dry patches or anything like that it really does help so that's the set that I ended up going for from Tatcha and then the last product that I got this is a fragrance I mentioned like four or five once again in my wishlist video so the winner the one I ended up with is from Tom Tom Ford the tobacco can I speak the tobacco vanille Eau de Parfum. This was, I believe this was $65, I want to say. I'll double check my receipt. Yeah, this one was $65, so $52 after the discount. So I saw Michelle Wong recommend this one, and when I was looking at the different notes of it, I don't know, it just made me think of like warm, cozy fall vibes. Like, um, I think the scent was described as like warm and spicy, and I was like, I don't know. We'll give it a try. I feel like I haven't found like my signature scent yet. You know, I, I have some Chanel because I got it gifted to me. Uh, I have some from Sol de Janeiro, but that's not necessarily like, I don't know. That's kind of like an everyday, I'm just like running down. But like if I'm going somewhere nicer, I kind of want like a nicer scent on. So I don't know. I'm thinking about the Tom Ford. Let me go ahead and smell it and see what I think. Okay, I feel like this is a very sexy bottle. So this was like the travel size, which, you know, still $65. Perfumes are expensive. Like I feel like... I've been getting into some weird stuff recently, okay? Designer sneakers have suddenly become my thing. Just shoes in general have become my thing. And then out of nowhere, designer sneakers. And now I'm getting into fragrances, and those are not cheap either. So here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, let me. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's fall. That's like fall, winter. Okay, I have no idea how to describe fragrance, but definitely... Honestly, it's not as like tobacco-y as I thought it was going to be because that kind of threw me through a loop because I was like, I don't know, I hear the word tobacco and I'm like, am I going to smell like cigarettes? Like I'm not a smoker, so I don't really want that to be happening, uh, but it's not. It's just that warm, warm and spicy, almost maybe with like a hint of like something floral in it too, but like a warm floral. I don't know. I like this. Okay. I'll give it a try. We'll see how it works with my body chemistry and all of the things, but 
Maybe this will be my new scent. I don't know. After that, that's everything that I picked up from the Sephora sale for at least haul number one. I don't know, there might be more hauls coming, especially as more holiday stuff comes out. I feel like I did pretty good with this haul. I was really excited about it. Love the same day delivery. Big fan of that one. Uh, let me know if you want to see a video on the full Natasha palette or if you'd rather just see a trying new makeup and I can incorporate some of the products that I grabbed from the sale also. Again, of course, would love to know, did you shop the sale? What are you planning to pick up? Please let me know in the comments. Make sure to check that wishlist video for a giveaway. But other than that, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.